Hi dear friends, welcome back to the next part, not next part, uh, welcome back to the new chapter of uh, integral calculus as you can see on the board. Yeah, we want to start with uh, applications of integration. Well, uh, when, when I finished a differentiation chapter, uh, the chapter which was next to it was application of derivative. That is the differentiation process, whatever we have learned how we can use it in our day to day life. So that was the chapter. Similarly, so far we have discussed the concept and how to solve integral problems. Well, now the question is where we can apply these integral problems in our day to day life. Yeah, so this chapter is uh, because of that. Well, uh, we have many applications of integrations, but uh, for our syllabus, it's been restricted to only one application and that is area area what you call area bounded by the curve area bounded by the curves so this is what actually we are going to see we want to calculate the area covered by the curves so this is a one application but if you you know go to engineering after the puc or maybe basic science there we will come to know many different applications of integration yeah so in today's class i'm going to give you some basic concepts and some ideas about integration uh, about application of integration how to find the areas so today's class will be completely of theory so please uh, make sure that you give your full attention well uh, area bounded by the curves so let me give you some basics let me consider a simple shape that is a square. Let's say it is a square with side A. Okay. So if I ask you, what is the area of this square? What is the area of the square? So what do you say? Very good. We know the formula that is area is equal to A square. Yes or no? Yeah. So let's say if I ask you, I have a rectangle with a length L and breadth b so if i ask you what is area so you will say l into b yes or no yeah let's say if i have a triangle let's say triangle with the base b and height as h and if i ask you area you'll say half of base into height and what if i tell you we have let's say a square not square a circle we have a circle with radius as r so what will be its area so its area will be pi r square we all know these things since you know primary schools or like i mean the high school well so my question to you is my dear friends how did we get these formulas a square l into b half bh and pi r square how we got these formulas we don't know those things Yes or no? Because we have just been given what? The formulas. And um, data we just need to substitute the data and we need to get to calculate area. But how these things came is what we still don't know. And that's what we are going to study with applications of integration. Yeah. And not only, not only these things, but also, uh, also I think uh, in your 10th standard, you had one chapter called mensuration wherein you have uh, you know, um, calculated the area of even some irregular shapes something like this uh, let's say you have a shape which is like this let's say which is like this this is a shape and we need to find the area of this shape so what you have done you have converted this irregular shape into something like these shapes so then you applied the formulas uh, this will become a rectangle this will become a rectangle let's say a b c d so you will apply a formula of area of rectangle and you'll find this area yes or no yeah you'll say yes okay very good so next what you'll do you'll put a dot here and you'll call it as a d and it'll become a triangle uh, let's say this is e so uh, C D E will be a triangle and we'll apply this formula and let's say uh, we will put a dot here. We'll call it as F and it will become a square and we'll apply the formula of square, which is a square 
and this particular part will be a uh, hemisphere uh, not sphere sorry uh, semicircle this will be semicircle so we will apply the formula of area of circle divided by 2 so we will get the area of this whole shape that is what we have learned in our 10th standard yes or no yeah but what if my dear friends if i ask you i have a shape something like this i have a shape something like this now it will become a difficult for us to calculate the area of such shape because even i cannot convert this irregular shape something like the any one of these things and i can fit them and i can able to get it no that is a bit uh, difficult task yeah so now uh, what we're going to study here is we're going to find uh, how to find the area of such shapes but uh, for puc uh, we don't have uh, the exact thing like how we're going to find the area of such uh, shapes but we have some basics you know uh, if you know those basics then if you go to engineering then definitely that where um, in engineering we will find the area of such shapes also okay now so this is the basics that uh, this is the introduction part of this area related to the curves well uh, if you want you can take down this one let me pause the video for you so dear friends So dear friends, when I say area bounded by the curves, basically we will be having three different types. So the first one is area under simple curves, area under simple curves. The second one will be area under a curve and a line and the third one will be area between two curves well what i mean by these three types is let's say let's say uh, for the first one okay what is area under simple curve let's say i have a simple function simple function or simple curve like this so let's this is a curve or in mathematically we can call it as f of x okay yeah so what is the area covered by this particular curve with respect to x axis so this area i am referring so this we call area under simple curves my dear friends okay and the second one here is area under a curve and a line for example let's say i have a curve like this let's say i have a curve like this I think it's pretty familiar curve no what is that parabola so we have a parabola and let's say we have a line like this so this is our line and this is our curve which is of parabola so now we can say there is an area between these two things so that will be this particular part so this is uh, what we say area under a curve and a line okay yeah. and the third one is area between two curves so let's say i have a case like this we have one circle like this and we have one more circle like this we have two curves circle is also a type of curve right so we have two curves and there is some area between these two curves isn't it so we this call this is as third type that is area between two curves but uh, one interesting thing here is this particular part that is the third one is been removed removed from your concern uh, in your syllabus because of that covid thing it is in the deleted portion okay so this is this has been removed so we are going to study only area under simple curves and area under a curve and a line something like these two things okay yeah you can take this please so now let's understand uh, area under simple curves my dear friends well uh, here actually we have two cases okay i'll just call it as case number one uh, so uh, split mark but here we'll write case number two so what i mean by case number one and case number two uh, let's take a simple cartesian plane 
Cartesian plane with origin. This is x dash, this is x, y dash and this is y. So let's take a simple curve like this. This is our curve. That is f of x will be our curve. And this f of x is between this point and this point. So to locate this point with respect to x axis, let's say it is a from uh, origin with respect to x axis and let's say this is b. Okay. So now what I need to find is I need to find the area of this particular curve with respect to x axis with respect to x axis. So that is why I call it as equation uh, case number one wherein we will be having one more case here that let's say uh, our function is something like this. This is our function f of x and I want to find the area covered by this particular curve with respect to y axis. So in that case, let's say this is our point A and let's say this is our point B. So I want to find the area of this curve with respect to y axis. So I hope you understood the difference between the two cases. Yeah, well, so uh, to we'll go with the case number one first. Uh, let's uh, let's take a simple thing here. Let me construct a small rectangular strip, my dear friends. I have taken a small rectangular strip. It's very small. Uh, it's very, very small when I compare to the full area. Let's say this particular distance is dx and this particular length will be y. So its width will be dx, length will be y. So if I ask you, if I ask you my dear friends, what is the area of this small rectangular strip? But one thing you'll ask, sir, how is a rectangle? Because to have a rectangle, we should have like this, no? Here, uh, this particular part in this one will be like some, something like curved thing. But I'm saying still it is a rectangle. Why? Because our rectangular strip is very, very thin. Even this, uh, this curved part will become straight if I take it very small thing. Okay. So let's consider this is this as rectangular strip only. So what if I, what is the area of this rectangular strip? So area of rectangular strip, rectangular strip is length into breadth right so this is length and this is breadth so this is y into dx okay this is this is a basic thing that we already know so now now what i'm going to do is now we are going to have very very small rectangular strips just like this one from here to here andre either a small strip so we will form from here to here and we'll find the area of all those small rectangular strip and we'll add them. So we'll learn to add Madaga, connect them to the area of this whole uh, uh, area. Barbe, sorry, we need, we'll get the area of this whole part. Yes or no? In the end, this is strip. This is the strip. This is the strip. This is the strip. This is the strip. This is Okay, na? so all the strips do area find maadi. Now add maadi. This is the area find maadi. One strip do. Yellow one no add madre, definitely will get the area from here to here. Yes or no? But the question now here is how can we find the areas of all such small rectangular strips? That is the question. And that's where the application of integration comes, my dear friends. Yakhali, integration the inheli basically as a summing up madu. Nim gutri boduni school kuda kaltidri one symbol itra kaltidri. This is called summation. I yen madat theli do, idella one no add madate and integration is also summation but difference in andre this is referred only for discrete values discrete values matra help agate, but whereas integration will help us for all continuous values continuous set of values will help agate. discrete andre 1 2 3 4 5 itra itra integers alli matra help agate. this continuous andre adu decimal sal kuda barabodu. so naan in martin andre so what i'm going to do is so Total area bekalva. So total area beka grodrinda. Idu one small strip and at one bitu. Itara boru yella small strips and a series integration martini. And I'll apply the limits from A to B. Yakhede. 
because we are going to start from A and we are going to end at B. So the lower limit will be A and the upper limit will be B and Y into DX. So this is what the formula we are going to use if we are considering the rectangle, sorry, um, you know, vertical strip, area of vertical strip. So now problem solve vertical strip we are going to apply this formula. Okay. And similarly, Illinois. So, e case in case, let me consider a horizontal strip, my dear friends. Illi horizontal strip na consider na. And let's call this is dy, a small distance width. Amale, na x na. Length na x na. Okay, na? So, if I ask you, area of that horizontal strip, horizontal strip will be x into dy. Alva? So, this length is the width. So, but if I ask you the total area, so total area is one strip, but this is the strip. A in the L in the B. So, now so, no, the limits apply to the y axis coordinates. Wherein, this is the x axis coordinates. So, you need to remember this formula if I am applying, if I am using horizontal strip in the question. Okay, you are thing very important. So please note them. So dear friends, I will give you a point and I will tell you. First one, important points actually though. Ignore the, you can tell you shape is the same. Here the curve is the same. Alright, this curve is the same. So curve is the same. So now area with respect to x axis is the same area. So when you formula la apply to area find madaga, you will get answer in negative. Answer negative barate. Ya kheli? Because it is x axis do kya lagade hai. So adhikhe nam ke answer bandhu negative barate. But namu gund gote rate. Yen kheli? Area cannot be negative. Common sense alwa. Area cannot be negative. So if yen agate answer minus under yen madbo dhno, we can apply. Yen kheli? Mod apply madbe to we can write the positive answer. Ali the reason the area cannot be negative. That is why we have taken the absolute value on the head. Okay, so this is problem solving sometimes barbodu. Adki hai tadini. Avala inon nodi inon do simple hai tadini. Ega for example, one curve draw martini, a curve yawn time go therate. So let's say this is our curve. Yaw curve hai tadu. Very good. So this is sin x function. Idu. Alva f of x equal to sin x curve. Idu. So you can either area find madli kodre. Now, this is the area of the area. This is the area of the area. Because it is symmetrical. So, let's say this is 5 square units. This is the area of the area. This is the area of the area. Because it is negative x axis. So, if you have a direct area of the area, this is the area of the area. This is the area of the area of the area. This is the area of the area. But actual answer is zero. Actually, this is the one solve and this is the one solve. This is the negative one. This is the one that we have to do. This is the one that we have to do. This is the one that we have to do. Because area cannot be negative. So that is why we will be getting 5 plus 5 which is equal to 10 square units and the final answer. Instead of writing zero as our answer. I hope you are the same. Area cannot be negative. Same concept is determinant. Determinantally, area uh, area of, of triangle find mod back there. there also even if you get negative answer you might have written it as a positive answer because area cannot be negative okay so please take down this well uh, with this one let me conclude for today's session now this session will not be a theory part in the next session we will take some questions and uh, we will solve them by applying whatever the theory that we have learned uh, so next class if you have NCR textbook so please go through the textbook you will get some more ideas ok so if you have any doubts again you can ask me or you can write in the comment box yeah so till the next video take care and bye bye